In this class, we are going to learn how to format a date tab with the help of integration mapper. Before going ahead in formatting date tab, first look at how the date tab looks like in the mapper. So under functions, we can make use of current date tab in order to generate the date tab in integration. So before that, I will create a node over here for this element and drop this current date tab. Click on validate, switch over to the test validate the mapper now click on execute now when you click on execute this is the sample date tab format what looks like in integration now we'll look at how we can format suppose if you want to have the date at the beginning month at the end year at the between and we don't want this t symbol over here instead of t we need a space all those things we can format i'm here in the oracle support page on how to format the date tab so oracle has provided this function that is xp20 format date tab to format the date tab in integration or in xslt so we will be making use of this function and will format the date tab in our mapper so as you can see the date tab format looks like something like this and here few of the examples provided by oracle using which we can generate our desired output first we'll look at how we can do formatting with this format like the year month date so and so stuff first of all i will copy this function from here switch over to mapper go to designer here i will drop this over here comma after comma we have to provide the format first i will format as like this copy from here paste it like this within the single quotes we need to paste this close the brackets validate and switch over to test and click on execute now as you can see it has formatted and generated the output like this with the time zone now we we'll look at how we can generate a output having a date followed by a space then the month then the year now we can do that using this example now i will copy the format from here switch over to integration go to the designer page here i will paste in the format click on validate switch over to the test and click on generate here if you see we are getting the date followed by the month then the year now suppose if you want the hyphen to be generated between the date time and the year that we can do by adding this hyphen in between the formats instead of say space I will remove the space and put the hyphen. Click on validate. Go over to test and click on execute. Now if you see date followed by hyphen, followed by month, followed by hyphen and followed by year we are getting. Now suppose we don't want 4 to be displayed instead of this we want 2 digits like 04 to be displayed. In that case what you can do is you can copy this M01 from here. Go to mapper, paste this over here, click on validate. Go over to test, click on execute. Now if you see, we are getting the date in two digits. Now switch over to designer, let's check at other formats as well. Now we want something in this format. Instead of digits, we want in alphabets or the characters to represent the month, like the April. Now this we can do with this format. Copy this and paste it over here and validate go to test and execute now if you see the response we are getting 26 april comma 2022 now let's check how we can display in this format 2012 the current calendar year in alphabet so for that i will copy this from here switch over to integration designer page instead of this i will write this format click on validate validate the mapper switch over to test and click on execute here if you see we are getting the calendar year in alphabets last one we'll look at how we can format in this manner like the time in am pm on and followed by present day of week and followed by the date and the month so this we can generate with this format copy this format from here go to integrations now we'll remove this paste it over here click on validate validate the mapper switch over to test and click on execute 
yeah like this we are getting so you can try out other formats as well as per your business need and you can format the date time with the help of xp20 format date time of function there is one more function which is not supported by mapper ui so this also we can make use of if i copy this and paste it over here and validate it shows that this format date time is not found even though fn namespace is available in the mapper as you can see this is the namespace already available so this is one of the options if you are modifying this mapper with the help of jdeveloper or from the notepad you can make use of this format date time as well but in ui there is no support in order to explain better i'm making use of accessibility fiddle so first i will print today's date by using this fn current date time function paste it over here as you can see it has printed the today's date time that is i am recording this video on 26th of april 2022 and this is the current time of this machine now i will format with the help of this fn format date time function copy this you have to make sure this fn namespace is already added paste it over here comma and the format i will format as per this one first of all copy from here the format go to the fiddle and paste it over here now as you can see this has formatted like the year slash month slash and the date suppose i want the year in four digits then i can put 0001 so it will display the year in 2022 suppose if you don't want the space over here and want the t then you can add that over here it will reflect in the formatted date time we'll try one more function from here so we'll display date in this format copy this format switch over to the fiddle now we'll remove this format and paste this one as you can see we are printing tuesday 26th of april 2022 so fn format date time also supports those functions or the formats you can try any of the methods depending on from where you are modifying this mapper suppose you are modifying this mapper from the ui then you can make use of xp20 form function and if you are making use of uh, any other accessibility tools in order to generate the mapper then you can even go for fn format date time